Hey everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Get Good at Opera Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. Now, uh, I made a little pond here, and in this episode I'm going to uh, make a water coaster. Uh, not a normal water coaster, I want it to uh, have a boat that will splash down in this uh, little pond here, and then gets, back retract gets uh, retracted back into the station. So, uh, I'm just going to first make a station here. Uh, let me put it at 7.5 meters. And I'll just make it go down here like this. And here I'll make a water track. Now and here I'll uh, use some, uh, uh, yeah, just some wooden wild mouse track, just to uh, make these small curves. They're much easier to make invisible later with corrupt elements. And here I'll make some track uh, like this. Uh, and here I'll make some track that slopes uh, upwards. Now, uh, normally I would put this track uh, underground. It doesn't really matter where you make it. Um, but I'm now just make it uh, over here, just so it's easy for you to see what is uh, going on. So, um, I will put this ride in the powered launch mode uh, without passing station. Um, you will need to use the... Uh, show all operating uh, mode cheat to actually uh, change it into this operating mode and I'm using unlock operating limits just so I can uh, set the launch speed a little bit higher um, I changed this track into wooden belt mouse track using the allow arbitrary ride type changes cheat now um, I also enabled the disable vehicle limits cheat so I'm using that to uh, well we only want uh, one car and we want two cars per train. So what I'm going to do now is I'm pausing the game. Um, well, we'll need to build an entrance and an exit. So let's do that uh, quickly first. Okay, I'm pausing the game now. I'll put the ride in test mode. Then you can see the, the cars spawn, but they're not uh, going anywhere yet. Okay, now I'm... Uh, going to the edit right vehicles uh, plugin it's a plugin that uh, you can download for this uh, game this uh, plugin is made by uh, by bussy uh, I like using it for my uh, shoestrings it makes them uh, quite easy to do so um, this uh, this uh, train has two boats but it actually has four vehicles as you might be able to see that's because the water coaster uh, boats actually also have a uh, invisible front vehicle and the invisible back vehicle. So the invisible front vehicle is vehicle 1, then the first boat is vehicle 2, then this boat is vehicle 3, and the invisible back uh, vehicle is vehicle 4. Okay, um, I want the front vehicle to just splash down here, and the back vehicle, uh, uh, that's the one I'll put uh, underground later, or uh, the one that I'm going to put on this track. Okay, so I go to vehicle 3, and I'll uh, move it forward uh, to uh, right over here. So to do that, um, I'll first set this uh, multiplier to 100. This just makes it uh, faster to uh, move it forward. So we have vehicle 3 selected, and then here on track progress, I'll just press the plus button a few times uh, until I'm happy with the, the position of the ride. I will actually count the amount of steps uh, that I do. So I've set it to 100 and let's move it forward. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, I think this is uh, far enough. I will uh, move it forward a little bit more with these uh, mu steps multiplied by 10. So let's move it forward a little bit more. 1, 2, 3. Oh, let's go four. Um, the the back vehicle of the boat will also have to move it forward, or else this uh, part of the ride will be uh, uh, heavier, and then the ride will not work, even though the uh, invisible back vehicle has no mass. So uh, here I will do the same. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, yeah, it has to be over here. 
And then here, uh, I'll do also the steps that are multiplied by 10. 1, 2, 3, 4. All right. Um, you can also uh, look at the position here. And right now, it should be right behind uh, this boat. Okay, um, the ride's in powered launch. Uh, I put it at 17 kilometers per hour, but we can play with that a bit. So, uh, yeah, let's see um, if it works. Uh, I will turn it back into a water coaster. It should slow down here at this part. But, uh, yeah, let's see uh, how it uh, functions. All right, it splashes down in the water and it breaks there. And... It has just enough speed here to make it back into the station. Now, if you want it to uh, splash a little bit further, you could uh, launch it a little bit faster. Or you could play a bit with the starting position uh, of the ride here. And sometimes uh, you'll have to play with it a bit if it uh, doesn't actually make it back to the station. You could... Uh, in Increase the launch speed or uh, play a bit with the steepness of this track here. I think right now it it does look uh, quite uh, believable, even though uh, yeah the speed uh, um, yeah it, it's just not it's not just gravity pulling it down here. It's also the launch uh, speed that uh, uh, gets taken into account, and because this boat is going upwards here, um, it will not accelerate downwards as fast as it uh, normally would. Oh yeah, this is an easy way to make a boat ride that splashes down and then uh, retracts uh, back into the into the station. Now, uh, like I said, normally you would uh, make this track uh, deeper underground. Um, yeah, you could just uh, move it down into the into the floor more and just cover it cover it up with a hill. Uh, the way I made it right now, it. Uh, it isn't too high, so it should be easy to hide if you uh, build it into the ground. Now, for this uh, return track here, um, you could simply uh, put some corrupt elements here on the track. Or you could already uh, move the track on the ground uh, right over here. That's really uh, up to you how you do it. Um, if you use this uh, Ride Vehicle Editor plugin, it's uh, really easy for you to decide where you want the control track to be. Now, um, another thing you should probably do is, uh, again, go to the Ride Vehicle Editor plugin. Um, go to the third vehicle, this boat over here. Now, here it says it has six seats, so it will have uh, guests in it. Uh, you probably only want guests to go into this boat over here and not in, uh, into this boat that uh, will be hidden underground. So we'll simply uh, lower the number of seats to zero. And now a guest will no longer enter this uh, boat. Now, something else which uh, w might affect the performance of this ride is uh, the amount of guests, uh, well, the weight of the guests that enter the, this boat. But uh, I played around with it a few times. And um, yeah, in most setups, the weight of the guests that enter the, this boat uh, usually doesn't really matter. Okay, um, yeah, I hope this uh, tutorial is useful for you. I think this is a nice and simple ride that will uh, look nice in uh, in many parks. And with this plugin, it uh, should actually be quite easy uh, to make. All right, um, yeah, like I said, I hope this tutorial is useful for you. If you have any questions, just ask them in the comments. Uh, and I hope to see you again in the next video. See you later. <laughs>